Africa has seen its share of eccentric leaders from Gaddafi to Bukasa and Idi Amin. However, few match the Guinness worthy antics of Yaya Jame, the exiled president of Gambia on West Africa's Atlantic coast, known for declaring he could rule for a billion years and refusing to leave office unless Allah says so. Jame's eccentricities are unparalleled. In this video, we delve into the 10 most bizarre actions of this enigmatic leader, exploring his controversial statements and behaviors that have earned him a unique place among Africa's eccentric presidents. Yaya Jame seized power through a coup in 1994 at the age of 29. Trained in Alabama, USA, Jame embraced the American influences. Here are 10 most bizarre actions and lifestyle choices of President Yaya Jame. Don't miss to watch till the end for the jaw-dropping revelations. Hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more amazing African videos. Our story begins with a bizarre claim that not only raised eyebrows, but also shook the foundations of medical credibility. In 2007, Jame proclaimed that a gathering of diplomats that his own special mix of herbs could cure HIV, AIDS, and other diseases. I can treat asthma and HIV, AIDS. Within three days, the person should be tested again, and I can tell you that he or she will be negative, he said. He went on, I am not a witch doctor. And in fact, you cannot have a witch doctor. You either a witch doctor or a doctor. Now, you be the judge. Two, banning FGM with a threat. How Jame tackled the serious issue of female genital mutilation makes the Middle Age seem civilized. Rather than a conventional ban, he threatened to personally cut off the genitals of anyone practicing female genital mutilation. Now, he may have good intentions here, but a mutilation punished by a cutoff may look as the same and one crime. The international backlash was swift. We are not sure if he carried out the threat anyway. 3. is about his spiritual powers and witch doctors. Many Gambians were captivated by the unique mystique surrounding Jame's claim to possess spiritual powers. He convinced followers that he could cure various ailments through mere touch and spiritual intervention. Considering that he is the president of a nation, the impact of his perceived supernatural abilities on both his personal image and the nation's psyche loomed large. But that's not all. Jame is said to fear sorcerers. Indeed, witch doctors and supposed acts of sorcery apparently troubled Jame greatly. In 2009, he rounded up hundreds of suspected sorcerers and many were made to drink a foul-smelling potion to determine whether they were capable of mystical powers. Some, of course, died in the process. His eccentric behavior was no respect of international diplomacy. He suddenly withdrew his country from the Commonwealth, dismissing it as a new colonial institution. Not that he was totally wrong, but as a former British colony, you dare not unilaterally withdraw from the Commonwealth of Nations which literally served no known purpose except to please the Queen of England then and the King now. Now, if you think that the title of president was enough for Yaya Jame, you are deeply mistaken. The young African president of Gambia loves to be amused by the grandiosity of titles. His official website as well as pro-government newspapers hail him as His Excellency, Sheikh, Professor, al Haj, Dr. Yaya, Abdulaziz, Jemus, Junkun, Jame. He's a devout Muslim and says he could rule for one billion years, if Allah mandated him to. 
but it's unclear what formal background of clerical education allowed the former army man to proclaim himself as a Sheikh professor. Yaya Jame's false titles aren't only shocking. In 2010, a pro-government article falsely claimed he won awards, including two from President Obama, and an, it's called an imaginary platinum award. He also supposedly received the admiralship of the Great Navy of the state of Nebraska, an honor incongruent with Nebraska's landlocked status. I hope you are getting the picture of the man here, Jame, but there's more. As we venture deeper into Jame's tenure, we confront the unsettling reality of an alleged human rights abuses from extrajudicial killings to suppressing political opposition. His regime was marred by accusations that shocked the international community. We cannot name it all now. Then again, the roller coaster of Jamais unpredictable policy shifts included abrupt changes in economic strategies, dismissing of government officials, and decisions that left the nation in a perpetual state of uncertainty. Yaya Jamais, the Gambia former president, embezzled $362 million during his 22 year rule as revered by the country's justice minister following a two-year investigation. Accused of claiming titles on 281 properties globally, Jamais' regime is scrutinized for human rights abuses and state asset pilfering. The government aims to recover the funds, which they are still busy doing, while Jamais' supporters dismiss the investigation as a witch hunt. Additionally, he owned a 3.5 million property in Potomac, United States. In impoverished Gambia, President Jame led a lavish lifestyle, accumulating a fleet of 25 exotic cars and four rarely used aircraft. The impoverished nation, burdened by debt from his prolonged rule, had to sell off planes and luxury cars after his reluctant departure, Jame reportedly left for exile with large sums of cash and 13 expensive cars, including two Rolls Royce. He had to leave others because the plane could no more contain them. Finally, Yaya Jame, Gambia's former president, exhibited anti LGBT rhetoric. In 2008, he vowed to cut off the head of any person in Gambia, sparking international outcry. On the 3rd in 2013, he declared homosexuality as anti-God, anti-human, and anti-civilization, stating homosexuals were unwelcome, threatening severe consequences. Jamel likened allowing homosexuals to endorse satanic rights and vowed not to permit it in Gambia. These are his words, not ours, but we have no better way to explain them. Now, if this does not make the most eccentric president in Africa, who else would? Don't forget his dancing steps in flowing gowns. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other fascinating profiles of African leaders. Subscribe for more captivating African videos and go to the comment section and tell us what you think. We'll see you in our next updates.